So we've just arrived here at the Google Launchpad. We're about to start our advanced facilitation workshop for design sprints, for running workshops, for running even efficient meetings, uh, you can use this. So I'm gonna show you a few of the highlights um, from today and a few of the key points that our wonderful Di Scarano will be taking us through. Let's check it out. cool about this workshop is that we have people here from Google who are designated sprint facilitators, as in that's their entire job. So we're really looking forward to talking with them, getting uncovering some of their challenges that they're facing, and sort of just sharing knowledge with them today. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty fun. want to keep in mind when you're facilitating um, either a design sprint, a workshop, or a meeting um, are the following. Number one is making sure that you set expectations. This is so, so important, especially with a design sprint. There's a lot of uncomfortable activities, things happen very fast, and it's not a normal way of working. So it's important that you let people know about that up front so you don't catch them off guard when they're you know feeling like they're not doing a good job or they weren't able to really flesh out an idea um, this will really help if you just say up front if you just say up front using a couple of phrases like this is going to feel a bit uncomfortable some of the activities are going to feel a little bit too fast this has helped us huge in all of our design sprints that we've run Make sure that you're giving clear instructions. This sounds super simple and obvious, but it really makes a massive difference if you use this formula. First, tell people what they're going to do. Very simply, in one line, don't use too many words, what is the exercise? Then tell people why they're going to do this. This is so important for people to understand when they're doing an exercise that maybe seems a little bit ambiguous to them. You really want them to understand why they're doing it so that they actually care about it. And the third thing is you want to tell them how to do the exercise. In very simple terms, show them a picture of what it looks like, tell them step by step how they're going to do it. This is just going to improve the efficiency of your sprints and really just take the team along in a really nice, smooth way. And the third tip I'm gonna give you is make sure that you say important things three times. Say important things three times. Say important things three times. This is something we learned from Jake Knapp, our leader. He told us, which is just so important, and we, we've used this and we've seen results from it, um, that when you say things to people, and especially to a big group, if it's just you facilitating, you say things the first time and about 50% of the people were probably listening or even understood what you said. You say things two times, about 75% of people probably understood what you said and probably heard you. If you say the important thing three times, the third time is when you're gonna get everyone and everyone's going to acknowledge it. Obviously don't repeat exactly the same words, maybe use a few, you know, a variety of different ways that you're saying this, but this is gonna help huge when you're uh, facilitating. There are many, many more things I could talk about, and I really do actually want to deliver more facilitation tips, but I'm gonna leave that to another video. So please go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed that video, if you want more, and like it too. It would also be really, really, really great. Um, and um, thanks so much for watching this video. Goodbye from San Francisco.